Do you guys see me? The screen's black. Hello. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna do my best the next couple videos, try to change up the background. The lighting's really good in here. I changed the light bulbs, but I know the past like five videos I've been in the same setting. So maybe I'm gonna try to get upstairs to the studio or uh, I don't know, just switch up the background for you guys. So if you guys are still here after the disclaimer in the beginning of the video, then shout out to you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys. Today, I just wanted to do a different kind of video. Um, you know, I feel like the content that I I've been putting out or the lack of content that I've been putting out has uh, just been getting a little bit repetitive uh, not only for myself but from other people as well I just feel like it's not what it used to be but uh, you know I just uh, want to try to be as transparent as possible and this is my channel and I do care about this channel and I would like to make something out of this channel if possible not saying that it's nothing you know what I've made it into uh, blessings I'm very happy for everybody that watches is my videos and all the open doors that have come from this channel that's not what I'm saying but you know I would like to try to make it into something even better than what it is so uh you know when I first started my channel I made a lot of videos just like discussion videos you know some of them had to do with clothes but uh, I did like topic videos discussion videos all that kind of stuff and I feel like that's one thing that attracted people to my channel and kept people watching because I was putting out a certain supreme video here and there but I was doing more like real life videos I did a video about how I used to do drugs and you know just all kinds of different stuff and again I feel like that's what originally got people you know to like my channel and stay around my channel so I thought that I would just bring it back to the basics today and maybe just do a little recap and just explain you know kind of like where I started and you know how I've gotten to where I've got today now in no way whatsoever have I made it in any sense of the word or the phrase? If 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 my life is a hundred percent, I've accomplished ten percent. Uh, there's still much more that I need to do. So I'm not saying like how I got to this great position. I'm I'm not saying that at all. Uh, without going too far back, uh, because I feel like if a video like this or a style of video like this works out and people like it or you guys watching like it, I would like to go a little bit further back and a little bit further forward. Uh, so basically I thought I would just talk about like pretty much when I first started on the internet, uh, my first endeavors on the internet, what it was like, and uh, kind of the things that have happened that's gotten me uh, to this chair in this room today right now. So uh, if you guys want to stick around for a little story time, then uh, let's do it. If not, then I'll catch you guys on the pickup video that will probably be tomorrow. All right, so um, I would say my first time like even thinking about doing anything with the internet uh, probably had to do with Supreme Resell. I was doing a little bit of a government vacation. If you guys catch my drift, that's where I met my good friend Chance. Uh, and while we were doing our government vacation, we kind of had this idea that like maybe we wanted to start a clothing company or maybe we wanted to try to do something with the internet. That's like when I really like committed to Supreme and like wanted to get more into Supreme, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, I would say Preem Population, really, dude. I had a personal Instagram for a long time, but uh, I started Preem Population in 2016, uh, in the early months of 2016. It was a way different game back then. I swear to God, the same day I started my Instagram, I sold like four golf shirts and, and a Supreme hat. The first day, I had no followers, nothing. All I did was use hashtags and I got my stuff sold, dude. The, the aftermarket community was so different back then, but uh, that was like my first introduction to, uh, you know, kind of like being on the internet and being on Instagram. And then um, I was watching YouTube at the time. Uh, I was watching Paul Cantu and Jacob Starr. Those were pretty much the only like two YouTubers that I even watched. I was working a lot. Let's just go back to 2016, let's say two years ago or a little more than two years ago. 
two and a half years ago, tomato, tomato, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was working in uh, the parking lot, parking cars, so when I would go to work and when I would drive home from work, that's when I would watch YouTube, pretty much watch Jacob Star. He really wasn't doing any Supreme content back then. It was mostly just thrifting and vlogs, and then Paul Cantu did like thrifting stuff. I've never even been a thrifter. I don't know why that stuff interested me. I never even went out and thrifted after watching those videos. It was just something that I was watching. But anyway, I was watching Jacob really, and I was just like, dude, honestly, this dude's sick. I saw him do an FTP video, and I was like, yo, I feel like I can do this, dude. Like, again, take into consideration this is 2016. Uh, it's like really nothing like it is nowadays. It's extremely hard to get going with videos and Instagram nowadays. Uh, even, you know, way harder than it was even two years ago. So, you know, I uh, I thought, man, dude, I want to do that. I want to make videos. Like, I had the plans of building the studio, which I'm still building right now. And uh, like I said, I was getting into Supreme Resell a little bit. I was going to Supreme more. I was like, yo, I want to, like, just capture my life. You know, I want to do vlogs. I want to do stuff like that. So, I think my first YouTube video was November of 2016. It's pretty much almost been two years that I'm have been on YouTube or have been making videos. Uh, so I started making videos. I think my first video ever, shout out to anybody who knows this before I say it, was how to build a desk. I took out the closet upstairs and I did a built-in custom desk. That was my first video. It was a terrible video. It was like 18 minutes long. Maybe I'll do like a reaction to my first video or something if anybody cares for me to do that. If you guys are still watching at this point, uh, shout out to you guys. But uh, yeah, that was my first video. And then I started doing a little bit of Supreme stuff, but it wasn't mainly focused on Supreme. I was doing topics like to do with Tyler, the creator. I was showing you guys stray rat stuff. Uh, I was doing FTP. I was doing like, what do I feel about this rapper? I was doing like uh, games like, Hi are you a high beast trivia game? Like I was doing a bunch of different stuff uh, late 2016, early 2017. And then I would say 2017 is probably when a uh, Supreme population like really took off. I was no Noticing that the Supreme videos were doing better, so I started promoting Supreme Population on the videos, and that was like when the huge wave of Supreme hit was Spring Summer 17, dude. It was like that was when the game changed, and that's where I feel like the most OG original like people that still f with me today like found me in 2017. A lot of old heads, older dudes with like heads on their shoulders, uh, they found me. They still f with my videos or Supreme Population today. Shout out to you guys. You you guys know who you are, but that's pretty much when like Supreme Population started taking like more of a form and I started like just putting more effort into Supreme Population. Obviously, uh, I wanted to stop working, you know, like I was still working at the parking lot. I was camping at Supreme, going to work from Supreme, and then Wednesday night I was getting off work and camping at Supreme. I was like, yo, I need to quit my job. I need to focus on this Supreme stuff. And then, you know, blessings, I just uh, slowly but surely made videos and Supreme Population kind of just took off. We were really like the first people to really do raffles on Instagram. You know, I cannot speak for Facebook or Twitter or anything else, but uh, as far as like everyday raffles, I can say confidently that Supreme Population or me, myself, was, you know, the first person to really take that and make it an everyday thing. If you guys uh, want to know more information about that or just like how I came up with that idea or that thought process, uh, that can be another video, but uh, pretty much when the raffles started taking off, it was CDG week of spring, summer 17, dude, and I requested a week off of work, and I camped for the week, and then I extended it to two weeks. I told my boss, yo, I need two more weeks. I'm flipping this stuff. It's working. I'm making money, and then after the two weeks, I called my boss, and I was like, yo, dude, I can't even come back, bro. Like, I'm gonna quit my job, and I'm gonna do this shit full time, dude, so uh, that was just shortly mid-season 2017, and uh, I've been working from home since then. You know, blessings to anybody who supports Prim Population. That is my baby. Uh, I put everything that I have into that. I showed Duva the ropes. I showed her how to do it. And then people there took a liking to Duva and it's just a huge family there. That's still how I make my money and uh, you know, how I take care of my family. And anybody who goes there or supports one time, 10 
times, a hundred times. You know, I got mad love for you guys. I love this Supreme community. Uh, you know, I just feel like maybe it's just could be time for me to move on to something different. I have no idea what that different is. You know, I'm kind of scared to be honest. I was scared to even make this video. I'm still scared making this video right now. Uh, fear strikes and you know, the comfortability of it and being uncomfortable strikes. And uh, I don't know, dude, you know, I just think that maybe there's something else in it for me out there, dude. Maybe I can create some kind of different content. Maybe I can help others more. Maybe I can influence others more. You know, I, I, I've been through crazy things in life. I'm sure that we all have, uh, but you know, I don't know. I, I think that it's time that maybe I explore something else or another route or just try to start somewhere and then, you know, see where that can take me. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm still doing today. Obviously, you guys know that. I've been blessed. I have a huge Supreme collection. I've been able to buy and sell and acquire things that I never thought that I would have in my entire life. And uh, you know, that's thanks to everybody who supports me on the channel, on Instagram, Supreme Population, everything. Uh, you know, I've gotten to a place that I, I, I never thought I would be. You know, when I was busting ass working in the parking lot, I just wanted to take a couple days off a week. You know, then that turned into me quitting my job. And then I turn around and I got, you know, crazy pieces that I never thought I would have. I'm able to buy Supreme and sell it and make friends that are in different countries, different states. People come over and stay at my house and stay here for a week, two weeks. My tattoo artist done my whole arm. Tattoo Duva, like my good friend Drew. I met through Prem Population. Christian, another very good homie. That's Duva's best friend. Through Prem Population, there's too many people to name, uh, so I'm not going to do it. So it's not that, you know, I'm tired of it or, you know, it, it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. You know, I'm very blessed to be where I'm at. Again, everybody who supports me. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's something else uh, in line, dude. So, yeah, I think my internet journey started in uh, 2016 and you know within two years I was able to uh, I had a full-time job I was working 65 70 hours a week I started a side hustle I was able to quit my job and work from home and you know I'm able to still um, you know sustain and still have that luxury of living at home and working from home and taking care of my son and being able to spend time with him and collect clothes and have a collection and uh, it's just more than than I could ever imagine but as a human me inside there's just a want for more and just uh, you know just a, a, a want to do better and continue climbing uh, in my life journey dude I have no idea where this video went if you guys made it to the end shout out to you guys that's just a little slight motivation uh, you know a little thank you to all you guys and just uh, you know obviously if you're watching this let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing different kind of content from me maybe some storytelling or maybe some like Carson and dad type stuff or like I don't know dude I I, I don't have a finger on it or where I want to go I just want to sit down and announce and say yo I want to try to do something else and then maybe see where that takes me anybody who supports you guys know I got mad love for you guys you guys can check me out on the gram Leroy destroy is my personal supreme population for all your supreme needs you guys know what it is there's going to be a pickup video tomorrow so we'll be back to that grind and then i don't know maybe we'll switch it up again much love to all you guys sleepy i'm out of here deuces stay safe until the next time peace